All right, everyone. I'm PC Unknown here, and welcome to the channel. And we're definitely dealing with some potential alternative realities, alternative timeline type of information today. After releasing in 2018 to near universal positive reviews, Spider-Man on the PS4 is considered one of the best superhero games of all time, as well as one of the best PS4 exclusives. And with reportedly over 20 million copies sold, it's safe to say that it was a smart business decision on Marvel Games and Sony's side, especially picking Insomniac to be the studio to make the game and its follow-up, Spider-Man Miles Morales. But it could have all been very different, as reports on several websites today are talking about how Xbox were offered the chance to make Marvel games to rival the Arkham games, so let's just have a quick summary of what these articles are saying. Microsoft apparently passed on the opportunity to work with Marvel to make games based on the superhero franchise's characters, and this is one of the things that directly led to Marvel's Spider-Man Mora Spider as well as Spider-Man Morales releasing on the PlayStation as exclusives. As spotted on Reset Era, last year's The Ultimate History of Video Games Volume 2 by Stephen L. Kent has interviews and information about Marvel approaching the likes of Microsoft, Sony, and Activision in 2014 about making games based on its superheroes. The book has quotes and information from Jay Ong, who's been working at Marvel Games since 2014 and was tasked to bring their IPs and their characters in into the gaming universe with the same kind of positive reception that they've been getting in cinema for the last decade or so. According to the book, he was looking for a publisher, publishing partner who had both the talents and the funds for Marvel's IPs. I think that says a lot about how Activision were handling these games at this time. Being a console first party in my past, I pinged both Xbox and PlayStation, said the head of Marvel Games, Jay Ong, and I said, we don't have any big console deals with anyone right now. What would you like to do? Microsoft's strategy was focusing on their own IPs with the Xbox One, so they passed. Ong adds that when he sat down with PlayStation executives in 2014, and talked about making a superhero game, he said that Marvel could beat Arkham and have one game at least, or maybe multiple games that can drive your platform or drive the sales on your platforms. Sony took up Marvel on the offer turned the, and turned the project over to Insomniac and began work on the first Spider-Man game. Even though, like Xbox, Insomniac tend to focus more on its own projects than working on pre-existing IPs. So we're talking about games like Ratchet & Clank and Sunset Overdrive, which is very much an underrated classic on the Xbox One. If you have an Xbox One, try it, it's awesome. And it's the exact game that kind of convinced Sony and Marvel that Insomniac were the studio to make the Spider-Man game, as Sunset Overdrive convinced those the power to put it in the hands of Insomniac because of stuff like their traversal mechanics in that game. There was one last hurdle Marvel needed to overcome before it could task Sony and Somnia with creating the Spider-Man game. Getting the Web Slingers license away from Activision, who were responsible for a bunch of positive, mediocre and straight up rubbish Spider-Man games from the turn of the century. And striking a deal with the studio sounds like it was surprisingly easy. A quote from Ong says, I said I'm going to find a better home for it. And Activision just replied with, good luck finding a unicorn. That's an interesting response, um, especially when you consider that go, good luck finding your unicorn as a response of when a deal is being cut short to find an IP you own a better home. And, but fast forward eight years and Insomniac has worked with Marvel and Sony on two Spider-Man games now, as I mentioned before. There's a third one on the way, as well as a Wolverine title in the works. It's suffice to say that Insomniac definitely was the unicorn Marvel and Ong were looking for all along. There's one last quote as well from Ong, and he says it's the first time that Marvel properly realized that games as a medium could drive the brand forward. What would you think the Spider-Man game could have looked like on an Xbox? What studio could have they put onto the game themselves? And with that, I'm the NPC Unknown. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. Please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. From me to you, this video is game over.